In this lesson, let us try to learn about the loops in the Dart programming language. And if you are coming from the background of other programming languages like Java, C++, so the loops over here are the same. Uh, we use the same type of the uh, statements over here. And if you are a complete beginner on the programming, then you can just come and watch it over here. So let us try to go and create a one folder over here. I have created a loop folder and inside that I have added a one more dot file which is for loop. And you can just go and create the same kind of structure or else you can use your own structure as you prefer. So I created a main function and now I will just create a variable of i which has a value of a one and that the for loop over here is uh, whenever we want to make use we have to think of uh, like if you have a condition like you want to run a specific uh, block of code let's say a 10 time or a 5 time or a 100 times then repeatedly you want to perform a same action right so at the time the loops come into picture so the for loop is when you know that you want to run for a specific time so let's say you want to run the your block of code for 10 times you know it you want to run it for 10 times so at that time so the for loop is a life sim. so first of all i'll create a for over here and then i need to pass over here like i which i has a value of a one so if you don't have a i created over here you can just make use of like let's say j and which is a value of the i right so I think the var j which has a value of the equals to 1. So this is the same as creating a variable and right, assigning it a value at the same time. But we will just create, we have already created and assigned a value to our i variable over here. So just make use of that i over here. Otherwise you can directly create and assign a value for your variable over here. So and the next is I need to pass the boolean condition over here. So the boolean condition is if the i is less than or equals to the 10. So if the i is less than or equals to 10, what I want to do is I want to increment the i value for using the unary operator. So unary operators you have already learned about it, the plus plus and minus minus, and also about the assignment operator right so we have a relational operator that we have learned so greater than or greater than equals to right less than equals to so these are the relational operator that we have previously learned so here we are using a relational operator and here we are using the unary operator so now the for i and the for i has less than of the value of a 10 then we want to increment it and then finally we want to do something like let's say print out the value so I can just say value of i, let's see, and then we will just pass the i over here and that will print us the value of the i. And now if I run my application, uh, you can see that we get a value of i is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here we use a for loop and we specifically know that I want to run this particular block of code for the for the 10 times right so that's why we know that we will write it or run this block for the 10 times. so this is for loop and also you can use another for loop which you can decrement a value so here we are using increments and incrementing our i value of a one let's see how we can decrement a value by the uh let's say a value by the one so if you want to decrement it so this is how you increment a value and let's see how we can decrement a value so for that I need to say like uh, for uh, var j and let's say var j has a value of a 10 right and then second I need to pass a boolean condition when the j is of uh, less than equals to 0 then what you want to do is for the j I want to decrement the value. So here variable j so here we have already created since we haven't created a variable j Otherwise, you can just move this one offside and just create a just assign a variable j over here. But here we are creating and assigning a value of j which has a value of 10, and we are checking the condition over here, right? So this is the another relational operator that we are checking the condition that if the j is less than equals to less than uh, equals certainly less than it should be 
greater than equal to make sure you make it as a greater so we are taking just taking for the j's if the it is greater than zero then we just want to decrement the value by the minus one so here we can just print the just copy the same section and just copy it and paste it over here and for that i will just say this is the value of the j right and i need to print the j not the i and now you can just go and run it and now you can see the value of j is from it is 10 9 8 is goes down to the 0 so this is uh, how to increment the for loop to increment and for loop to decrement the value just a little bit of tweak if you see here we are just checking for less than equals to 10 but here we are checking greater than equals to 0 the another one is a nested loop so nested loop so let us see how we can create a nested loop of the for so i'll just i think i'll just copy this one so instead of typing just copy this for loop over here now this is one of the for loop over here and next we will have a, another for loop inside it that will be our nested loop so i'll just say over here for j right for j which has the value of uh, equals to let's say of a zero so i need to create a bar j which is equal to zero and then i can do the same thing like a j which is less than equals to of the 10 when uh j so when j is less than equals to 10 then what you want to do is we want to increment the value of j by one right so this is a nested loop over here and here we just want to print out the value so what we want to do is uh, let's say we want to print out the value of let, we have a i right so let's say a dollar i have a sign of the i and uh, then i think i have to make use of a press over here dollar and i'll just say i have a value of the i uh, sorry i i need to print out and i let's say let's let us write a time table over here so i'll just see a uh, value of uh, i multiplied by the value of the value of we have the j right so value of the j that we have and uh, then uh, what we have is i think i need to close the press over here and then i can just close it and uh, for that what we can do is if we go and run this one uh, you can see that we have a value of the J printout. I think where is the printout? You miss out something. I think I will just comment out this one first of all. So let me comment out this one and also I will comment out this one. And let us try to run again. So now I think we got the printout and if I just drag it. So you can see it is printing the value of uh, tables of the timetables from the 1 to 10. So you can see, you can see 10 into 10, 10 into 20, 10 into 30, 30, right. So this is the writing a timetable. So it may be a bit confusing, but uh, you can just go and add the right timetables. So here you can just uh, print out something like a uh, table that we are actually writing. So I think I can remove this trace over here. So if I go and run it one more time, and then you can see that it's 10 into 0 is 0, 10 into 1 is uh, 10, 10 times 2 is of the 20. So it's printing out the timetables for us. So this is a for loop, nested for loop. And now we have, we know how to make use of the for loop. So we have learned about the nested loop as well as the normal for loop. So I hope you enjoyed this and let's meet up on the next one. Till then, have a great day.